Hey there, Faga here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use a different logo on a single page in your Squarespace website. Now this tutorial is specific for version 7.1, the latest version of Squarespace. So if you're using an older version, check the description for a link to an alternative tutorial for you. But if you're in the latest version, you're watching the right one. What we're going to do today is upload the alternative logo to the custom files section of your website. And then we're going to add a little bit of CSS to an individual page to make sure that that logo is displayed on just one page and not the rest of your website. Okay. Now I've outlined the steps below and included the code down there, but I'd love to walk you through how to set this up. So you understand exactly what you need to do to make this work on your own site. Let's hop into my demo site and get started. So here we are in my demo site and you'll see I have a teal logo up here on this page. But if I click on this other page where I want the alternate logo to be, you'll notice it's the same shade of teal. So you can't see that logo anymore. I want a different logo on this page. So these are the three steps we're going to follow in this tutorial. Starting with number one, let's upload that image. I'm going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now at the very bottom here, look at that. We've got a button manage custom files. That is where we're going to be placing this new logo image that we want for just this one page. I already have it open on my computer, so I'm just going to drag and drop it right over there. All right. Now, next up, step number two, we're going to update the URL inside the code. I've got the code over here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. And what we're going to do is paste it in this custom CSS section for just a second. You'll notice it's already saying syntax error on line one. It's because it's not going to stay there forever. What we are going to do is remove the text that says URL goes here. And then I'm going to open up my custom files again and just click on that image. And now it's going to go inside that code, but we're not done yet. This right here doesn't belong in our custom CSS file. I'm going to press control X on my keyboard to cut that out of there and we'll go ahead and select save. So we're all done here. And then we're going to add that code in the sync in the page header code injection on the single page. To do that, I'm going to select edit and then this gear icon up here. Now under the advanced menu tab for my single page, I can paste that whole code. And I want to point out something pretty important. You see this part up here where it says style and then down here it says forward slash style. In the page header, you can have different types of code. So we need to make sure the browser knows this is a style code. This is how we tell it. I'm about to give you some CSS. So that's why we have those two brackets there. And this is the whole code that basically says, take my title logo, that active link up there and make it this image instead. I'll select save and we'll select done. And that page is going to refresh itself and reload that header and check it out. We have the alternative logo. And if we go back to our original page, that teal one is still there. And that's how we're able to put it on a single page. So there you have it. Three simple steps. Now I do want to mention page header code injection at the time of recording. This is only available on business and commerce plans. If you're on a personal plan, you need to use an on page code block. Check a link in the description below for your instructions on how to do that. But if you're on a business or commerce plan, just follow the steps we just did together. Upload your image to your custom files under design, custom CSS, manage custom files. Then replace the text in the code below where it says URL goes here with the URL for your custom file and then paste that whole line of code along with those style brackets in your page header code injection for that individual page that you want to change the logo on. Press save and you're good to go. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something awesome. Thank you so much for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.